good morning students in this particular class we are going to start with the another unit that is hydrogen now as you already know hydrogen is the one of the element in the periodic table means in this chapter we are going to discuss about only one element that is hydrogen now first we will see symbol of hydrogen next atomic number of hydrogen next electronic configuration of hydrogen this is the basic already you know what is the symbol of hydrogen capital h what is the symbol of hydrogen capital h atomic number it is the first element in the periodic table that is atomic number is 1 now what is the electronic configuration 1s1 it is the electronic configuration of what hydrogen now the question is who discovered the hydrogen who discovered the hydrogen hydrogen was hydrogen was discovered by discovered by scientist and his name is and his name is henry henry Cavendish Henry Cavendish he discovered hydrogen in the year 1766 means in the year 1766 Henry Cavendish was the scientist who discovered the hydrogen who discovered what hydrogen now after discovery of the hydrogen the question is the question is where the hydrogen is kept in the periodic table after its discovery the question rises that where it is kept in the periodic table periodic table that is our next concept that is position of hydrogen in the periodic table that we will discuss now now our next main concept is position of hydrogen in the periodic table periodic table that is where the hydrogen is kept in the periodic table that is the question now to understand this one first we should have to discuss the basic of periodic table basic of periodic table now just remember already we have discussed about the classification of elements and the periodicity in the properties that is third unit in the part one we have already completed the periodic table that is the unit name is classification of elements and the periodicity in their properties we have discussed in that already we have discussed that in the periodic table 18 groups are there 18 groups are there and seven periods are there seven periods are there 18 groups and seven periods what is many groups the top to bottom top to bottom or vertical columns in the periodic table those are called as what groups that is indirectly the top to bottom arrangement of elements in the periodic table are called as what groups now what is meant by periods that is left side to right side left side to right side arrangement of elements in the periodic table are called as what periods that is horizontal lines left side to right side in this way left side to right side now here it is left side to right side in this way arrangement of elements in the periodic table are called as what periods top to bottom that is from top to bottom this way arrangement of elements in the periodic table are called as what groups now already we have discussed that for making the groups for making the groups we know the condition we know the condition what is that condition if you want to make a group what is the condition the elements the elements which are belongs to the same group elements which are belongs to the same group same group should have the should have what already we know similar properties similar 
properties means if you want to make a group in the periodic table you should have to select the element such that all the elements should have the similar properties then only all those elements are kept in the same group for example if you check the first group elements what are the first group elements first group elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium next here only i'm writing cesium francium there are first group elements what are the first group elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium now why these elements are kept in the same group that is first group you can say first group as alkali metals also already we have seen alkali metals group one is also called as what alkali metals what are those lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium why these elements are kept in the same group because all these elements are having similar properties therefore these are kept in the same group similarly if you check the 17th group halogens similarly if you check the 17th group that is halogens what are the halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine right these are the halogens these are the halogens why these elements are kept in the same group because the properties of fluorine are similar to that of the properties of chlorine properties of chlorine are similar to that of the properties of bromine etc therefore these all elements are having similar properties therefore these elements are kept in the same group means what is the condition for making the group here it is what is the condition for making the group is the elements which are having similar properties should be belongs to the same group elements which are having similar properties should belongs to the same group means we know the hint that after discovery of the hydrogen after discovery of which element hydrogen this hydrogen should be kept in such a group that in which group there the hydrogen properties and that group elements property should be similar in that group only the hydrogen is kept for example hydrogen showing the similar properties with the first group elements then keep this hydrogen in the first group only for example hydrogen showing the similar properties with the 17th group elements then this hydrogen should be kept in the 17th group only means we should have to compare the properties of hydrogen with the all the group elements all the groups elements where the properties of hydrogen are similar with the group whatever may be the group number in that group only the hydrogen is kept now we will see hydrogen showing similar properties of which groups first we will see now here first first we are comparing the properties of hydrogen with the first group elements that is alkali metals here the hydrogen shows the similar properties to that of the alkali metals means indirectly the hydrogen resembles the alkali metals first hydrogen that is it resembles the alkali metals it resembles what alkali metals means the hydrogen is showing the similar properties with the alkali metals what are the similar properties we will discuss now here now similar properties first similarities between hydrogen and the alkali metals first we are discussing about similarities between hydrogen and alkali metals alkali metals means which group first group just remember now we will see the similarities now what are the similarities is first one by one we will discuss first one first i want to discuss here now hydrogen's electronic configuration is 1s1 already we know correct hydrogen's electronic configuration is 1s1 now hydrogen's electronic configuration is 1s1 alkali metals electronic configuration is 1s1. alkali metals valence well shell electronic configuration last valence well shell electronic configuration is may for lithium 2s1 for sodium 3s1 for potassium 4s1 etc means indirectly lastly ns1 is there ns1 means here hydrogen's valence electronic configuration is 1s1 alkali metals valence electronic configuration is ns1 means both are having both hydrogen and alkali metals are having similar valence shell 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन द हाइड्रोजन एंड द अल्कली मेटल्स नेक्स्ट वी विल सी द सेकंड सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन द हाइड्रोजन एंड अल्कली मेटल हाइड्रोजन इफ यू चेक द नंबर ऑफ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हाइड्रोजन एटॉमिक नंबर इज 1 एंड दैट फर्स्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एडेड इनटू द फर्स्ट शेल ओनली मींस हाउ मेनी वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन नाउ फॉर अल्कली मेटल्स for alkali metals what are the alkali metals lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium etc if you check the number of valence electrons already we have discussed how to check the number of valence electrons in the second unit that is structure of atom already we have discussed right now if you check the uh, valence electrons in the alkali metals that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium you will get only one valence electron only one valence electrons therefore both hydrogen and the alkali metals are having same number of valence electrons valence electrons next we will see the third similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal third similarity is now hydrogen having how many valence electrons one therefore if it loses that one electron what will be the charge we know that loss of electron right a positive charge loss of electron means what will be the charge positive charge loss of one electron means what will be the charge plus one right after lo after losing the one electron in the hydrogen atom the oxidation state or charge is plus 1 next alkali metals also having only one valence electron after loss of that one electron right what will be the charge plus 1 right that is both hydrogen and alkali metals are having same oxidation state same oxidation state that is plus 1 that is what plus 1 this is the third similarity between hydrogen and alkali metal next we will discuss the fourth similarity between the hydrogen and the alkali metal fourth similarity now what is that one is if you check the hydrogen's bonding capacity means how many bonds can be formed by the one hydrogen atom if you check one hydrogen atom can form only one bond with maybe another hydrogen or any other element now similarly if you check the alkali metals how many bonds it can form alkali metals can also form the only one bond with other elements only one bond with what other elements means both hydrogen and alkali metals can form only one bond only one bond it is also another similarity between hydrogen and alkali metal that is both forms only one bond only one bond right these are the few similarities between the hydrogen and alkali metal after studying these four similarities between hydrogen and alkali metals now we can say that the hydrogen can be kept in the or the hydrogen is kept in the first group only but what is the question is what is the question is if you want to keep the hydrogen in the first group if you want to keep the hydrogen in the which group first group it is showing similar properties therefore you want to keep the hydrogen in the first group only that is correct but at the same time the hydrogen shows the different properties at the same time hydrogen shows the different properties with with alkali metals with alkali metals after studying these similar properties you may think that the hydrogen can be kept in the first group only but at the same time the hydrogen is showing the different properties with the alkali metals now we will see what are the different properties between the hydrogen and the alkali metals first we will discuss now for that one i am taking next another paper i want to keep it here only now this is page 2 i am using second page in this video now just check different properties between hydrogen and the alkali metals we will discuss one by one next heading different properties between hydrogen and alkali metals what are the different properties we will discuss first i am writing hydrogen here here i am writing alkali metals 
alkali metals hydrogen left side alkali metals right side now we will see one by one what are the different properties between hydrogen and the alkali metals if you see the hydrogen hydrogen it exists as h2 exist as h2 in the atmosphere h2 dihydrogen or it is a diatomic hydrogen exists as a diatomic molecule whereas alkali metals exist as lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium that is monoatomic means indirectly hydrogen is diatomic because two atoms of hydrogen are there therefore hydrogen exists as a diatomic molecule hydrogen exists as what diatomic molecule that is hydrogen is existing as diatomic molecule right and the alkali metals existing as monoatomic molecules monoatomic molecules hydrogen exists as a diatomic and the alkali metals exist as a monoatomic therefore this is the first difference between the hydrogen and the alkali metals hydrogen if you check right its physical state is gaseous state means it exists as a gas hydrogen exist as a gas whereas the alkali metals are exist as solid at room temperature at room temperature hydrogen exist as a gas and the alkali metals exist as the solid this is the another different property between the hydrogen and the alkali metals next we will go for the third one third different property is now hydrogen is a gas gas means it should be a non metal that is hydrogen is a non metallic in nature non metallic in nature that is a non metal hydrogen gas is a non metal whereas this lithium sodium potassium that is alkali metals are metallic in nature these are metals therefore i can say that these are metallic in nature another different property is hydrogen is a non metal and alkali metals are the metals next another different property is hydrogen forms covalent bonds covalent bonds right or covalent bond if it is forming only one you can say that hydrogen can form covalent bond whereas these alkali metals always forms ionic bonds ionic bonds this is the another difference between the hydrogen and alkali metals hydrogen and alkali metals after studying these different properties of hydrogen and alkali metals the hydrogen is not kept in the the hydrogen is not kept this wrong means indicates not kept is not kept in first group that is alkali metals alkali metals even though it is showing the similar properties with the alkali metals at the same time it is showing the different properties therefore the hydrogen is not kept in the first group that is alkali metals next we will compare the properties of hydrogen with the another group we want to keep the hydrogen in the periodic table only therefore we are comparing the hydrogen properties with the all groups right first it is showing the similar properties with the alkali metals at the same time it is showing the different properties also therefore hydrogen is not kept in the first group now we will compare the properties of hydrogen with the other group elements while comparing the properties of hydrogen with the other group while comparing the properties of the hydrogen with other group it is showing similar properties it is showing similar properties with again it is showing similar properties with 17th groups element 17th group 17th group means now we can think that if the hydrogen is showing the similar properties with the 17th group right we can keep the hydrogen in the 17th group only but we will study first what are the similarities between the hydrogen and the 17th group elements next we will think about that one right next it resembles that is hydrogen resembles the 17th group elements that is halogens again we have to write the heading first we have studied about the right it resembles the alkali metals over next we are going to study the it resembles the halogens it resembles the halogens that we will study second one second main heading it resembles the halogens 
now first we will see the similar properties similarities between the hydrogen and the halogens similarities between hydrogen and halogens means group to 17 first one by one we will discuss here first similarity we will discuss first first one is what is the similarity between the hydrogen and the halogens in that first one we are discussing what is that one is first one here you think halogens what are the halogens chlorine fluorine bromine iodine these are the halogens now we will see what are the similarities is here both hydrogen and 17th group elements both hydrogen and 17th group that is halogens halogens both hydrogen and 17th group elements halogens both exist in gaseous state at a room temperature at room temperature both hydrogen and the halogens exist as the gases this is the first similarity between the hydrogen and the halogens next to second similarity between hydrogen and halogen is hydrogen is exist as h2 that is diatomic and halogens Halogens also exist as diatomic that is X2 may be F2, Cl2, Br2, I2 etc. Means both hydrogen and halogens exist as diatomic, diatomic molecules, diatomic molecules. Just to think hydrogen exists as H2 and the halogens that is chlorine exist as Cl2, bromine exist as Br2, fluorine exist as F2 etc. Means both exist as diatomic molecules. This is the second similarity between the hydrogen and the halogens. Next we will go for the third similarity. For that one I am using the another paper. Third similarity. Third one is third similarity. Now just to think hydrogen and halogens. For this one, I am taking rough paper here. I want to write. Hydrogen atomic number is 1. Halogens. Halogens. For example, fluorine atomic number is 9. Chlorine atomic number is 17. Right. Potassium 35, etc. Now, if you add one more electron to the hydrogen, total number of electrons will be 2. Means its electronic configuration is same as that of the helium. Same as that of the helium. That is 1s2. Right now means after gaining one electron the hydrogen is uh, becoming the electronic configuration same as that of the helium configuration means its electronic configuration becomes similar as that of the noble gas electronic configuration. Similarly if, if you add one electron to the halogens also if you add one electron to the fluorine total number of electrons are 10 means now its electronic configuration is the fluorine's electronic configuration is similar as that of the noble gas that is neon if you add one electron to the chlorine one electron to the chlorine then its electronic configuration is same as that of the argon that is 18 similarly this will become same as that of the krypton that is if you add one electron or when the hydrogen and halogens gain one electron the electronic configuration will become the same as that of the noble gas means after gaining the one electron by the hydrogen if hydrogen gains one electron its electronic configuration becomes same as that of the noble gas similarly halogens Similarly, halogens after gaining one electron, its electronic configuration also becomes same as that of the noble gases. That is the third similarity. That is, I am writing here, after gaining, after gaining one electron by hydrogen and halogens, electronic configuration, right here I am writing full, electronic configuration, similar to that of the nearest noble gas 
flammable gas it is also one more similarity between the hydrogen and the halogens fourth one is after gaining one one hydro one one electron by the hydrogen and halogens both become minus one ions the ions which carry the minus one charge on it right hydrogen will become hydride ion and halogens will become halide ion maybe chloride bromide fluoride iodide etc it will become hydride hydrogen will become hydride that is h minus one that is for hydrogen is h minus one these are the few similarities between the hydrogen and the halogens what are the similarities between hydrogen and halogens both hydrogen and halogens exist as gaseous state at room temperature right and the second one is both exist as diatomic molecules and the third one is both hydrogen and halogens after gaining one electron becomes electronic configuration similar to that of the nearest noble gas electronic configuration and the fourth one hydrogen and halogens are after gaining one electron becomes corresponding hydride and halides same now after studying these after studying these we are thinking that hydrogen can be kept in kept in 17th group because the hydrogen is showing the similar properties with the 17th group but here it is wrong right but it is not kept in 17th group not kept in 17th group because again when it shows the similar properties with the 17th group at the same time only it is showing the different properties with the 17th group now we will discuss the different properties between the hydrogen and the 17th group elements hydrogen and the 17th group elements we will discuss now next heading is different properties between different properties between hydrogen and halogens hydrogen and halogens now we will see one by one first different property we will discuss first right before that one here i am taking hydrogen here i am taking halogen left side hydrogen right side halogen because we are studying the different properties now we will see one by one first one is for that one i am using another prime green now just check first two different properties first here when the hydrogen combines with oxygen that is called oxides of hydrogen when the hydrogen combines with oxygen that is called as what oxides of hydrogen if you check the nature of oxides of hydrogen these are these are neutral in nature means when hydrogen combines with the oxygen when hydrogen combines with the oxygen those compounds are called as what oxides of hydrogen oxides of what hydrogen if you check the nature those are showing ph7 that is neutral in nature for example water when dihydrogen h2 combines with oxygen it will form water right water water is a neutral that is oxides of hydrogen are neutral in nature next whereas when the halogens combines with the oxygen when the halogens combines with the oxygen those are called as what oxides of when the halogen combines with oxygen those are called as what oxides of halogens oxides of halogens are are acidic in nature if you check the nature these are acidic in nature means when hydrogen when hydrogen combines with the oxygen here rough paper i am using for more clarity when hydrogen combines with the oxygen gives the compounds gives the compounds these compounds are neutral in nature that is oxides of hydrogen oxides of hydrogen are neutral in nature when the hydro when the halogens halogens that is x2 combines with oxygen and those compounds are called as what oxides of and these resulting compounds are called as what oxides of halogens oxides of halogens when these combines 
right when the oxygen combines with halogens the resulting compounds are called as what oxides of halogens if you check the nature these are acidic in nature acidic in nature this is the different property between the hydrogen and the halogens that is oxides of hydrogen are neutral oxides of halogens are acidic in nature first different property or second one is second one is here here in the compound after forming the bonds in the compound hydrogen has hydrogen has no unshared pair of electrons no extra electrons on the hydrogen atom in the compounds whereas when the halogens forms the when these halogens form the compounds and after forming the compound also if you check the number of electrons on the halogens you will get the three lone pair of electrons are available almost all compounds are having three lone pair of electrons on the halogen atom that is halogens halogens has the lone pair of electrons in the compound here also in the compound means when the hydrogen forms the compounds there is no extra electrons there is no unshared pair of electrons on the hydrogen atom when the halogens form the compound these halogens are having few unshared lone pair of electrons on its atom in the compounds right this is the other different property between hydrogen and halogens next we will go for the third one next third different property between the hydrogen and the halogen for that one i am using another paper next next third one is third difference property between hydrogen and halogen is hydrogen has low tendency to gain the electron hydrogen shows low tendency or less tendency to gain the electron means hydrogen is not much interested to gain the electron not much interested to gain the electron whereas halogens whereas halogens shows more tendency to gain the electron to gain the electron this is the third different property between the hydrogen and the halogen hydrogen and the halogen now means again the hydrogen is showing few similar properties and few different properties with the group 17 elements also group 17 also therefore the hydrogen the hydrogen is again not kept this again this wrong means not kept in the halogens group that is group 17 even though just i want to repeat once again once again i want to repeat just check just check here hydrogen showing i want to use another thing, sorry hydrogen showing similar properties with the group 1 similar properties with the group 1 but at the same time but at the same time it is showing different properties with the group 1 therefore it is not kept in the group 1 similarly hydrogen showing hydrogen showing similar properties with the group 17 similar properties with the group 17 at the same time again it shows the different properties with the group 17 therefore the hydrogen is not kept in the group 17 also therefore what is the position of again the question is what is the position of hydrogen in the periodic table periodic table again it is the question but for this one our conclusion is main our conclusion is conclusion what is our conclusion is it is kept hydrogen is kept or it is kept separately it is kept separately in the periodic table 
if someone is asking where the hydrogen is kept in the periodic table then your answer should be it is kept separately in the periodic table because the hydrogen is not showing the similar properties with the any group it is showing similar properties with the group for an and group 17 elements but at the same time again it is showing the different properties with the group 1 and group 17 therefore hydrogen is not kept in the group 1 or not kept in the group 17 therefore it is kept separately in the periodic table just remember and don't say that hydrogen belongs to the first group it is not belongs to the first group it is kept separately in the periodic table now this is the conclusion Next, we will go for the another concept that is isotopes of hydrogen. Isotopes of what? Hydrogen. Next. First, we will discuss what is meant by isotope first. Already we know that isotopes. Now, for example, for isotopes, I am taking one example. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Here, atomic number of this carbon is 6. Atomic number is 6. Atomic number is 6. Means all these three carbon atoms are having same atomic number. Whereas, for example, this carbon's atomic mass is 12. This carbon's atomic mass is 13. This carbon's atomic mass is 14. Right? Here, carbon's atomic number is 6. 6, 6. Means all these three carbon atoms are having same atomic number. That is, Z value are same. Z means what? Atomic number. Atomic numbers are same. Whereas atomic mass, here I am going to write the atomic mass. Atomic mass of this carbon is 12. Atomic mass of this carbon atom is 13. Atomic mass of this carbon atom is 14. Means A value, that is atomic masses are different. Atomic masses are different. Such type of atoms are called as what? Isotopes. Such types of atoms are called as what? Isotopes. What is meant by isotopes? Same atomic number, different atomic mass. When two or more atoms, when two or more atoms having same atomic number, different atomic mass. Atomic number should be same, atomic mass should be different. Such type of species are called as what? Isotopes. Here, iso means just remember Topes means just remember atomic number means the species which are having same atomic number but what should be the different atomic mass such type of species are called as what isotopes similarly hydrogen also shows the isotopes and here these three are the examples for isotopes of carbon these carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 are the isotopes of carbon atom similarly hydrogen also shows the three isotopes three isotopes that one only we are discussing what is meant by isotopes same atomic number and different atomic mass now what are the isotopes of hydrogen are there are three isotopes of hydrogen that is it contains three isotopes those are called as what one by one i will write first one here second one here third one here those are called as what first one i want to write Protium, protium, second one is called as what? Deuterium, deuterium, and the third one is called as what? Tritium, tritium. There are three isotopes of hydrogen. First one is protium, second one is deuterium, third one is tritium. The symbol for the protium is 1H1. This is the symbol of what? Protium. And the symbol of deuterium is... 1d2 1d2 d means what deuterium right and the symbol for the tritium i can write is 1t3 1t3 right or simply you can write hydrogen means protium h means protium d means deuterium or t means tritium in this way also you can write full clarity i am writing here h11 that is called protium d12 that is called as deuterium t13 that is called as what tritium if you write only h that is protium if you write only d that is deuterium if you write only t that is tritium but what is the difference is just to check all are having same atomic number here atomic number of protein is 1 atomic number of deuterium is 1 atomic number of tritium is also 1 what is the different atomic mass atomic mass of hydrogen or protium is 1 atomic mass of deuterium is 2 atomic mass of tritium is 3 just remember already we know that if it is the x is the atom here we are going to write the atomic number here we are going to write the atomic mass here atomic number here atomic mass that is only telling 1 1 1 right uh, that is atomic number is 1 
here 1, 2, 3. Atomic mass is here 1, here it is 2, here it is 3. Now, why the isotopes are exist? Because of difference in the number of protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons. That is only I am writing. I want to make one column. One table here. For more clarity, I am making this column or table. Here I am writing here protium. Here I want to write the protium. Here I want to write the deuterium. Here I want to write the tritium. Protium, deuterium, tritium. Here I am writing the number of protons. Here I want to write the number of protons. Here I want to write the number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Right. In the protium, how many protons are there? One. How many neutrons are there? Atomic mass is one. Right. Already we know how to calculate the number of protons and number number of neutrons in the structure of atom only. We have discussed atomic mass means number of protons plus neutrons. Number of protons plus neutrons. One proton is there. Atomic mass is one. Means how many neutrons? Zero. Right. In the deuterium, proton is one. Right. Atomic mass means proton plus neutron. Already proton is one. Right. Atomic mass is two. How much should be the number of neutrons? One. Right. Tritium, what is the atomic number? One. That is number of protons is one. But how many neutrons? Two. Right. This is the difference between the protium, deuterium and tritium. All are having same number of protons, same number of protons. But the number of neutrons are different. Here it is neutrons is 0, neutron is 1, neutron is 2. If you want more clarity, just extend this table. Right. Here just to check. Atomic number means Z. Z means what? Number of protons. Number of protons. How many protons are there? 1. Therefore, atomic number is 1. Here also how many protons? 1. Atomic number is 1. Here also how many protons? 1. Because atomic number is equal to number of protons right next next here atomic mass a means what protons plus neutrons protons plus neutrons just check here here how many protons are there one how many neutrons are there zero one plus zero is one right here how many protons one how many neutrons one total how much two here how many protons one how many neutrons two that is here proton is one neutron is two total three right that is only i wrote atomic mass of protium is one atomic mass of deuterium is two atomic mass of tritium is three protium At atomic mass number is one deuterium atomic number is one tritium atomic number is one whereas atomic mass of protium is one atomic mass of deuterium is two atomic mass of tritium is three this is because of difference in the number of neutrons Protium has zero neutrons, deuterium has one neutron, tritium has two neutrons. If someone is asking for one mass, one mass, right? What is the question is our one question, right? How many number of protons in need, for example? What is the number of protons and neutrons in tritium? Write the number of protons and neutrons in the tritium. Your answer should be, your answer should be, Number of protons, how many in the tritium? What is the symbol of tritium? 1, 3. Right? Protons, now, 1. How many neutrons? 2. This is your answer. This is your answer. And one more thing, I am putting star for the tritium. Star for the tritium. Because, because it is also very important for one marker. One marks very important. Star. Tritium is the, tritium is the, radioactive radioactive isotope of hydrogen isotope of hydrogen tritium is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen if someone is asking which is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen right uh, you have four options protium deuterium tritium none of the above your answer should be tritium because tritium is the isotope of hydrogen which is radioactive or tritium is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen it is also very important for one marks just remember now we will stop here only and we will discuss in the next class thank you